I'm ready to get up on this fiber hustle gig because you've been doing your side hustles and I haven't been seen. Yeah, you're all about the peas today. <laughs> More explanation, please. Possum, pink lemonade, and pimples. <laughs> Charles? These? You can't even see them now. I covered them up. And I brought that pink lemonade for myself. And you're like, mmm, yumbo. Oh, because you got the Red Bull. Yeah, I got that for myself, too. <laughs> Whatever. I'm over it. Let's start the show. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Fiber Hustle. My name is Chip. My name is Aaron. <laughs> I like to sew. I like to crochet and knit. Oh no, sorry. I like to sew. I still like to crochet and knit. And you like to watch. You do. Fiber Hustle episode <laughs> 16. That's bet, bet, bet. Mm. And I haven't been on camera for a while, so I'm feeling a little extra today. Oh God. Because you've been doing your side hustles. I have been hustling. How are you, Sarah Hustles? Are you enjoying it? I am, and I'm learning a lot. Uh, Allison Glass Trinket So Along. Which you know well. I know it very well. So, I, it, it takes a lot to uh, convey what you're doing and mm -hmm. do it in a way that is understandable. And it takes a lot of editing. Lots and lots of editing. So, we have been consumed with our side hustle. Yes, I've been helping Chip do some editing, and well, I've been doing all the editing, but helping with some filming and stuff, and trying I'm to keep notes. And I'm directing. Yeah, he's. <laughs> last week he goes, "Would you get me a Red Bull?" I was like, "It's like right there." No, that's like, a talent. He's like, "Well, the talent needs his Red Bull." Yes. And for a whole day, kind of irritating, he referred to himself as the talent. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Whatever. But he's doing a side hustle, if you're watching that. I'm I'm enjoying it. I might join you on a side hustle and see if I can do it all. You should. Even though it doesn't look that fun because it's sewing. But I would love to try and well, make don't, something. Well, don't be thinking that I'm going to try any kind of knitting side hustle. I don't want you touching any of my wools. Knitting is stupid. And sewing's just the bee's knees? It is. <laughs> Honey, what... Famous knitter out there can compare with the name Singer. Nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Every household knows a singer. Yes, that means... Whitney Houston. Uh, dead. <laughs> Bobby. Uh, uh, Prince. <laughs> Is David that... Bowie. Lots David... of singers. Lots of singers. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever. I want to move on. What have I been doing? I went to Men's Knit Night. It's been a while since I've been there. They tore down our viaduct downtown, and I didn't want to mess with all the traffic and stuff. So I went last Wednesday and uh, had a good time. It was good to see the gentlemen and everything. And then I went to Sunday Men's Knit Day a couple weeks ago, and it was still fun. But we were in a Starbucks, and it just felt weird knitting in a Starbucks. So I think I enjoyed Mostly the same people, so it's not, I'm not saying anything about the people, it's just, I think I enjoyed knitting Wednesdays at So Much Yarn in Pike's Place Market, just hanging out and going to a Starbucks. So, I have questions. Do go ahead, fire them off. Okay, one, mm -hmm. about how many people attend? Uh, on, I would say between 10 and 15 every week. At either? Yes. Well, I only went to the Sunday one once, and there, I think there was like... 11 or 12 there. So that's why I'm saying 10 or 15. Okay. Second question. Ooh, ooh, me, me, me. Second question. Chip. <laughs> Teacher's pet. Okay, so... Are people teaching each other? No, but a lot of people will jump in and say... Somebody says, I don't know what's going on here. And a bunch of people are like, hey, this is what's going on. Or how to make it better or give other suggestions. And if you have a question, they will jump in right away and say, hey, this is how you do this and everything. So it's not it's not a class, obviously, but you're just knitting together. But everybody is more than willing, at least the people I sit around. So it's more than willing to help out and do all that good stuff. I remember last year, I was casting on the, I think the long tail cast on. And I just had like four more stitches to cast on 
or four more to cast on, and I ran out of yarn, and uh, a gentleman named Rome uh, cast on the rest for me by, I think, turning around and doing something. Obviously, I'm a good uh, student because I don't remember what he did, but I think if it was right in front of me, I could do it, but he cast it on. So it's just those, those kind of things that people teach you. I mean, and they're all, they have all been knitting for many more years than I have, but they never make me feel like, oh, you are only doing that. So. Oh, 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 question, question. Chip again. <laughs> Brown noser. Do, do, uh, do people know who you are? What do you mean? Oh, of the show? <laughs> Uh, a couple of people know I podcast. Uh, a gentleman named Oscar a couple of days ago on Wednesday night, night said, Hey, I know you from Instagram. I don't know if he watches the YouTube, but if you do watch the YouTube Fiber Hustle podcast, Oscar, hello. But then my friend Chris is there who I met through the podcast who told me to go to Men's Knit Night. So I see him. He's a nice guy. But yeah, most of them do now. Oh, oh, question, question. <laughs> Yes, chip again. Can anybody else? Seamus, you got anything? Just sit there and sleep. Uh, so, do what do they drink? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's alcohol, and I guess Sundays there's coffee. So there's alcohol and water. You can bring it in their snacks. There are some Easter chocolate eggs floating around the table last week, and... All that good stuff. Question. Question. No. No more questions. One more no, question. more, no more questions. One more question. Stupidest question One more ever. question. Yes. What's the gossip? <laughs> there is no gossip. The gossip is that I think everybody is going to the men's knitting retreat at the end of August and beginning of September. And I'm still thinking about going. I just need to sign up and do it. It's around, I think, Federal Way at Dumas Bay. So you just knit all weekend, I guess. So. Sounds exotic. It does. So if you're watching this, go to the Men's Knitting Retreat because I think it's going to be off the chain. Maybe I can't even picture what a Men's Knitting Retreat is. Oh my God, can I ask all the same questions again? <laughs> no, you cannot because we have things to do and get through. What have you been doing? I have been doing... Besides your side hustle. I have been doing my side hustle. I have been... Um, actually, I am working on an idea for you for me. Okay. What is it? They're called shopping socks. Shopping socks? Mm -hmm. But you don't shop. You don't leave the house to shop. So you're going to put these on to get on Chippazon every day? No. So if I'm wearing my shopping socks, I can't type. I love this idea. So you can't go. Order, order. No, no, no. Boop, so boop, I need boop, shopping boop. socks. Oh my gosh! No, <laughs> I will make you some shopping socks because, girl, <laughs> that chip is on comes I every have, single day. I, I have, don't get it. No, it's what it's. It's not chip is on for me. It's chip is on for you. It's there's another box. I it's tried. this is. Did I make the right choices in my life? <laughs> so yeah. So. Um, I have been so caught up in my trinket so long, and I have been meeting uh, fun people online on the Instagram and on the, the YouTube. It's really nice to know that, you know, there's other people out there in the world and they're experiencing and doing the same project as you at the same time, uh, pretty much. So, good. Yeah. Nice. What else is happening? I have nothing excited. I'm really excited for Game of Thrones, though. It's coming in a few weeks. No, not even a few weeks. It is one week from tomorrow. We're shooting this on Saturday. So it might come out Sunday or Monday. No, not Monday. Okay. It is going to be... Focus. It is going to be premiere, last season, final season finale. Um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. One week from tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be over forever. And I think that's going to be the 11th. No. Is it? Computer, when does Game of Thrones start? A new episode of Game of Thrones is on HBO April 14th at 9 p.m. and on HBO HD April 14th at 9 p.m. And a rerun is on AFN Spectrum delayed feed okay, Monday good. at 1 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you. So The 14th. Speaking of Game of Thrones, we have a giveaway. We do? Yes. 
the lovely people at Serial Knitters, there in Kirkland, one of my favorite yarn shops, gave me two hanks of their own yarn, which they, Serial Knitters, is, is a, and they, and they make, they make their own in-house yarns called Dye House Yarns, which is right here. And these are called Iron Throne Colorway. It's a DK weight. Oh, Let's that's see. neat. Will you hold one? Can I? Can yes, I? Yes, you may can hold I take one. the wrapper off. It is a DK weight. No, you cannot take the wrapper off. You can actually don't even touch it. Give it back to me. <laughs> it's a hundred percent super wash merino, and the colors are exquisite. They are uh, kind of a grayish, is that a yellowish rust kind of color? Is that what's happening we'll there? We'll go with that. We'll go with that. But again. Serial Knitters in Kirkland, if you ever come out to Washington State, just drive over the bridge from the Seattle and go see them. Yes, it's kind of close to your job. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's, Ooh, it's nice Debbie soft. was nice enough to donate these to the podcast, and we are going to give them away. Debbie, I love this. Yes. And it's, this is a great yarn store anyways. So we want you, encourage you to check out SerialKnitters.com. Or, uh, and also you can check out their yarns on there. And to give away, what should we do? I wanted people to do something extravagant, but I feel like it's just going to take too much time. Like, knit while you're watching Game of Thrones and tag us. But I think, no, you cannot. Just don't. Give them, please. Okay, we saw what happened no, on the live podcast. It. Don't put it against your face. This is going to people. <laughs> um... So we're going to put these on Instagram. What you got to do is like the Instagram post. Then you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then just tag a bestie that you want to watch Game of Thrones with. And that's all. Then you'll be entered in. And then when should we do the actual drawing and all that good stuff? That should be on premiere date. That's only a week. Yeah. Do you want to give them? Okay. It's going to be a premiere date. April 14th. So April 14th during sometime, April 14th, sometime during the day, we are going to give these two Iron Throne DK Weight Serial Knitters Die House Yarns away. And I'm very excited. I want them In for the myself. continental U.S. only. Yes, sorry. In the U.S. In the continental U.S. Yeah, we love all our friends in Australia and Canada and the Netherlands and Mexico. But we just... Someday I want to ship something somewhere just to see how much it's going to cost. Because everybody goes, automatically, no! But I, I know like where to know. we can I ship know, it. I don't know if it's... What? The wool and patch. The wool patch. The wool patch? Yes, yeah, sorry, England. That would be fun, actually. Yes, and our friends in England. But... Yeah. No, our friends in England. <laughs> no, 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 don't enter. So yeah, we're giving these away. They are delicious, and I can't wait for someone to have them in the U.S. And that's that's a pretty awesome giveaway, I think. And thank you so much to Serial Knitters, and uh, we're gonna post this on Instagram Who so you can Debbie? see it as well. She's the owner. Oh, okay. Yeah, she is the owner. I walked in there. I said, I'm. I was buying something for the podcast for a giveaway anyways, because it's been a while. And they had a 40% off all of their clearance yarns. And she goes, oh, hold on. And she handed me those. And that was very nice of her. So I can't wait to see who gets it and what they make with it. Yay! Yay! Do you want me to start? Go for with... it. Honey, they have missed you because, like, they have had a lot of chip. I know. Well... This is going to be a little chip segment, too, because I finished your dotted rays. It's about time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whatever. This thing is... Now, all the weaves Wait, aren't... Wait. Yeah. What? What? All the ends aren't sewn in yet, because I was planning on blocking it. But check this mother out. This is made... Sorry. Let me show it real quick first. You don't need to be in the shop. I just need to see my shawl. Look how big this thing is. Oh, my God. Wait, how do I... I mean... So it's six foot. <gasps> I love this. Aww. This is made out of Janine's yarn, which is Yarn and You. Uh, yarn and You. It might be a dot com. I'm not sure, but check out Yarn and You. It'll probably take a Google search to her. It is a DK weight. It is a colorway. The wizard will see you. Yes, he and will. And it is five and a half Hanks skeins 
whatever of DK Way, and it took a long time. Stephen West dotted Ray Shaw, and I think I don't know if I should. Block Is this a or world not. record for Stephen West Shaw's? I doubt it. But I think I'm going to take uh, a little break from Stephen West. Okay. Can no. I am obviously going to model it for the Instagram picture, but I want to see something real quick. Okay, maybe I don't. But what yeah, do you want? It's, I just want to see the ends. But yeah, there's not a single flop in this whole Shaw, and I am loving it. And the only thing I just need to block it, I think, to make this a little bit lower. But isn't it gorgeous? What I see when I put it like this is I want to do a little picturesque with little cows and stuff because it kind of looks like a little grassy knoll. You don't see a grassy knoll when you no, see wait, this? No, wait, what do you want to do? <laughs> put little cows and stuff on it and take a picture because it looks so like... So like toys. You want to yeah, put toys on this? I want to play toys. That's what I would want to do, but I don't think I'm going to. But yeah, I freaking love it. Give it back. And it's amazing. Thank you. And it's going to keep it just in time for spring. A this was my show. Christmas gift. This was your Christmas gift. I am very pleasantly surprised. That I love it. It came out. I wanted it as well as it did. Very big. I, I wanted to schlank it. Schlank it. It is pretty much a schlank it. Uh, I was going to do four skeins. Then uh, Jimmy said, my friend Jimmy, John, John Boy, New York. He has his own podcast. He said, uh, why aren't you using the other skein? I said, kind of laziness, and I'm kind of over it. Because I was kind of just done doing the garter back and forth. And he says, you should do it. I said, okay. So I did it, and it's finished. It would have been fun if I kind of knit, like, gloves into it. so you can Shopping socks. Shopping socks. <laughs> this, this is your new straight jacket shopping socks. <laughs> you can't order anything anymore. But, yeah, I am thrilled with it. It looks like it's, well, it looks, yeah, it looks okay, like so it's going to keep you warm. Green is my favorite color. And, actually, I have been quite chilly, and this is... You're chilly right now. Just what the doctor ordered. It's like you got your own wing. It's Red Bull gives you wings. It did. Yeah. Green. <laughs> green. Green wings. It's pretty awesome. So I am super happy with it and super impressed. So I could wear it like this. Okay, you just got me right in the face. You could. Well, you, I wouldn't have if the, the strings weren't still on it. <laughs> well, I didn't sew it in because I wanted to block it first. Hey. I think this is your favorite pattern. Uh, it is one of my favorite patterns. One, because it looks cool. Oh. Two, because it's super easy. It's not that hard to do. The only, if you're a newer knitter, the only the hardest part would probably be doing the I cord cast on and maybe the I cord bind off, but they're not impossible. For the I cord cast on, I always use wood needles because slippery ones, things start falling off and I get all. Look at how it just drapes. Ugh. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. It is. All right. And it goes with my glasses. That's all for... You, you made, made that? that? Chip, <laughs> you made that? No, I'm wearing it. No, I made that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you don't have any you made that. I have no you made that. I have a you deserve that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you deserve it. I'm excited to see it. You and Seamus trying to get on it and all that good stuff. Yeah, so I have, what are you making? What else? Well, actually. I don't, that's all I've made because I've been helping you do your videos. Oh, and they're not videos. <laughs> your, your little my dog and pony hustle. hustle. Yeah, yes. your side hustle. Which, my trinket so along, we are halfway through. Good. As of this, like yesterday. Wow. It's gone like that. Yeah, so there's two, no, four more weeks. So it's two weeks for every 10 blocks. So it's five, five blocks a week. And there's 10 for each one. So I still have things. So we've gone through, here, I'll just show the, the booklet. Show it. So we have, um, these are the four weeks. And this was lines, shapes, things, life. So we've already done these two, and that took uh, one, two, three, four weeks. That took a month because you're doing one block a day. At least you're supposed to be doing a block a day. A lot of people have been doing it in a weekend. 
Uh, the whole that's, that's, thing. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing. If you're doing like a couple in a weekend, I understand that. But the yeah. whole, like people, those people that are finished already. Yeah, that's not a solo. And so, like, yeah, so like when you're watching, hopefully the uh, the sew along, you know, it's like it's really meant to sew along with, you know, do all, you know, you have a buddy. You mean the fiber hustle side hustle knitting? I mean quilting edition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so we're so I'll show some of my finished finished blocks. Yep. I can't say it like Jean blocks. Um, so I think I got them out of order, but that's oh, okay. Goodness. So, a couple of my favorites. These are the same block. And I'm not even sure after my final project if any of these will actually make it into my project. These are more just for the sew along and for this is, this one will always remind me of Prince. Oh. I am a huge Prince fan, and at the EMP downtown Seattle, there's a Prince exhibit, which I have to drag you to. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I like, like, each of these has its own little tricks that you, you've got to learn, and it's been a lot of fun. And it's like, this is a good exercise in really adhering to... That rainbow one was fun, though, that you made. I love that one, and I just wish I had bumped it down a little bit, to be honest. Like the rainbows going into the pots of gold? Yep. And so this one's a dupole. I've done that. And so what... Give you a little insider info here for those of you who are watching. These blocks are probably not going to make it into my, pro in, into my project. I am going to take this... Um, this pattern, I'm going to take this, right now this is a 2D, so it's just X and Y, but I'm going to add Z. So each of these, each of these colored ones, so it's probably going to be like this. I'm still going to use all of these blocks because there's going to be, for each of these, there's going to be like five of these, five of these, five of these, five of these, five of these. So I'm still going to have a lot of blocks, but... On the columns themselves, I'll have one here, one here, one behind, one in front, and one on top. And when you look at it, it's going to be in a, a triangle, like a pyramid. Like the Great Pyramids? Like the Great Pyramids. And so, what? oh, I'm losing my... Your shawl. My shanklet. My shanklet. So, I met at the Sew so Expo, I met uh, Cheryl Sloboda of So Much Cosplay. And I was telling her about my project, and I'm like, I don't know, you know, like, I am I was trying to find a solution, like, am I going to do, like, for each of those columns, because they're going to be tall, you know, how am I going to, like, make these stand without flopping all over the place? And she's like, well, what's your structure? And I was thinking, well, I was, you know, I was going to insert foam or some kind of batting, and I was just like, I have no idea. She goes... Oh, and so she handed me like a like a, um, an already made project that was like a gesture hat, and this stuff just springs to life. So you can crinkle it, and it just springs right back, which is really like what the what I was looking for. So it like it is its own structure, and then it has. An adhesive on the, sh there's a shiny side, which is this side, and it, that already has glue. So all I have to do is like a, a warm iron, and I can lay my fabric on. So this was, I'm really excited that, like, th this is all my structure. I know, And it awesome. weighs nothing. So that is cool. And what I think I'm going to, what I know I'm going to do, is I'm going to use snaps at the base so like two snaps, two snaps, two snaps, two snaps. Um, they're just like little snaps to hold it in place. So that way, when everything is finally put together, I can just take it apart, no problem. So I don't have this permanent huge Yeah, I was wondering where structure. this thing is going to live. I mean, would we hang it on the wall maybe? No, because it would still, gravity would want to make it bow. So we could hang it on the ceiling. I had to get rid of our mirror. 
<laughs> uh huh. So and then so I'm imagining I'm still gonna go with um, Allison Glass's theme and have each of these have a black. You know, um, all the black here are going to be not raised. Okay. okay. It's these the ones that have the the um, the trinket on it. Those are the ones that are going to be raised. But on the actual column of those, I think I'm going to do those in black so that it's just these trinkets that are suspended in the air with these black columns. But I'm going to take Allison Glass's um, embroidery. Mm -hmm. So we have... We have... Where's the one of my favorite ones? We have this little star... Or I could do this little pattern, and I'm gonna embellish the columns. Oh, nice! With um, embroidery floss. Nice. Again, that'll be machine quilt, uh, machine embroidered, not me doing it by hand. But like, I like this little I love that. star. I love this. Um, this. I mean, there's just so much opportunity to play with color, and it'll look really sharp. All set against the. Um, the black fabric that'll be the columns. So like this right here is actually that. So it all it all goes together. So when you're using her fabric, then I have the little embellishments. Like you you recognize that yeah, bird. That bird. Mm-hmm. So I still have a month to pull this off. It's and, very exciting. And so like I'm gonna continue on with the sew along. So People can enjoy making this with me, and then I'll probably end up making. I'll just make, yeah, one little. Whatever, and I'm happy a couple size. people are making it with you. Yep, it's very nice. There's um, Victoria and Johan, who I know know are doing it. Um, so, peace and love and all that to those two. Um, awesome. Johan's doing them by. He's doing half of his by hand. By hand, half of his um, by machine. And Victoria, I didn't know this that she's going back to school to get a um, degree, a fine arts degree. Oh. It is a some kind of design. Anyway, I know she's going back to um, and getting her degree. Nice. Um, it's a, it's an arts degree, and I think it is textile related. Nice. Yeah. So. She, I love hers. Uh, she's using some, I want to call them like watercolory kind of, um, not muddy colors, but like more like watercolors. And I just, I love each of their blocks. Johan's using animals. It's really cute. So I like the star one with this, the picture you took with the star. Yeah, this that one. was, he's getting, he's getting tricky with his, his photography too. Yes. We gotta step up our photography game. Yeah, our pictures. I'm running out of uh, Funko Pop figures. I know. I don't know what you're gonna do. I got some Kiss dolls you can use, but yeah, but that's that doesn't interest you. I got my Motley Crue dolls too, but you, that doesn't interest you at all. So there's no reason to even bother. Well, no. I mean, other people like it. I don't True. have to. True. <laughs> so that's what I'm making. Nice. Well, then, uh, oh, what's my? What are you making? No, I'm working on my go-to raglan sweater by Stephen West. I have just started the right sleeve. So I'm at a point. Well, one thing I got to tell you is I have ripped the bottom back probably three times. At first, I wasn't too sure about the ribbing, so I ripped it back. Then I put it back on, and Chip and I both decided it probably needed to be longer. So I extended it longer, and now it's too long. So I need to rip it back again. Didn't we say it was too long? That was like three weeks ago, I think. Hey. I okay. don't know. Like, I mean, here. I remember that there was conversation. <laughs> it, but I think it's too long, so I got to rip this all back again. And we're going to try it. And it's weird. I'm using a um, Malabrigo yarn. I uh, don't remember the colors. What's but, weird about it? Uh, the yarn is shrinking as I'm knitting it. Because I put it on and it's really tight around my midsection. 
So usually I like this yarn a lot, but for shrinking. some reason the, the yarn, yarn is shrinking. The yarn around my stomach is really shrinking because it's, it's really tight in this area, but everything else is great. So yeah, I'm starting on this sleeve and now I'm at the point that the cuffs are, you're supposed to add a different color. And I don't know if I want to add this red color, which is right here. There we go. Um, or this orange color. I'm thinking I might go with this. I don't know what this is. This grayish. That's not gray. Almost dead. That, that's why I assume a dead body would look like. That has been out there for a while. So I just need to add. Okay, my. my when is it my turn? I have a question. <laughs> you Yes, Chip. Do you really want a dark to go with that? Shouldn't you get some something with contrast? Oh, no. Of course not. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, no. But I was thinking about going with this. But I don't know if that's... I like that. Because I think this red might be too... That's dark. It is kind of dark compared to this. So, yeah, either the orange or whatever this... <laughs> or whatever that color is. Which that color is whole grain. Yeah, but I'm excited. All I have to do is another half sleeve, put probably this color of cuff on, redo the bottom, and then I think it's going to be wearable. But by the time I, I'm sorry, what happened? Or stop eating so much. Oh, okay, there it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited for it to be finished. And what else am I working on currently? No. I can tell you what you're working on. Bring it on. Gifts. No, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I got... <laughs> Gosh. All right. Uh, last episode, I think I showed that I was working on the outline shawl or scarf. It's a shawl, but it looks like kind of like a scarf. Outlined by Hedgehog's Fibers. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I just wasn't happy with the colorway I chose. I was doing the... Uh, Hedgehog Fiber Oracle yarn, and the variegated color just wasn't making it look... I thought it was ochre. Ochre! Um, no, I think it was Oracle. Was it ochre? Yes. No, it's right there. That one. Go get it. So I was using this, and when it knit up, it just didn't knit up the way... I wanted it to look when I was doing this pattern. I think this pattern is more of a uh, single color instead of a bunch of crazy colors. So what I'm doing is taking all my leftover yarn from my Stephen West Marled Mania sweater, and I'm just oh, this one, and I'm just gonna make it out of that. That way I don't have to buy anything new or do anything different. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit dark. All the ones that people seem to make of this are pretty light, but I'm going to make this darker, then I'm going to put pops of whitish and yellow in there just to kind of break up the dark and moodiness. What is this going to be? It's They say it's a shawl, but it's like a really long scarf. So like this isn't really going to change. It's going to be about six foot long though. Probably is this is this selfish knitting? For me? Yes. Yes. Oh, good for you. Well, I just finished this for you, my love. Oh, please. So what, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, so I'm doing this in the sweater, and I'm still not sure what I need to make for what I do in summertime. I, if anybody has any suggestions, what they love to make in the summertime, let me know because I know I think we still might go to Knit City in October, so I want to make a Knit City sweater, unless that's going to be it. But I want to try something different. I do want to do some color work. I thought about making one that said Fiber Hustle, but then is that su shameless self promotion? No. Is that me? So no, yeah, that's not selfish. I think it's pretty awesome. So, and put hustlers on the back. Number one, because you're number two. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now, and I'm very excited about it. This is gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna take a while. I think this is gonna be more of my knit night knitting uh, when I go on Wednesdays because it's a really easy pattern um, and something I can still socialize with and talk to people, but. Get the job done. Because I don't want to take anything too complicated in that night. Because sometimes you get in conversations with people. Some people are there to chat. 
And some people are like just there to knit. That so, was one of the questions. What was the gossip? Well, there was no gossip. There were just, I'll tell you later. Delicious. <laughs> no, just kidding. There's no gossip. Um, what do you make? Do you have any, what are you making? Should we just get into uh, had to have it and gifts and all that stuff? Do it. Okay. Oh, I needed to find something anyway. I don't even know where to start. So apparently I'm in the pen game because last... Pin. Pin. Pen. I said pen. You said pen. Pen. Pin. Pen. Pin. <laughs> Say in. In. Pin. Pin. There you go. I swear I said pen. You said pen. 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 Whatever. Um... I came home and Charles got me these two Brooklyn Boy Knits pens. They don't know who that is. How, every, pretty much everybody who's watching this knows who Lewis is from Brooklyn Boy Charles. Knits. What? You said Charles. Oh, Chip. Sorry. I very rarely call him Chip unless I'm angry at him. I usually call him Charles, but today Charles <laughs> is coming. And I'm like, okay, Chip. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. Um, so Chip got me these Brooklyn Boy Knits pens, which are pretty cool. If you don't know his story, he was uh, on the subway a couple years ago, and I think it was um, – she was on American Idol. Frenchie Davis? Is that her? Frenchie Davis, I think, snapped a picture of him knitting on the subway. That picture went viral, and it became Brooklyn Boy Knits. So he has his own pens out now, which look really cool. And then he also got me this one from Stephen B. And it's Christopher, is it Straub? S-T-R-A-U-B. He was on Project Runway. And it's the cutest little bear. And I need, well, I'll just say what, it, uh, this could be a curse word, but I'll say it lightly. And the sweater, it says festive as, but yeah, it's the cutest boy too. So if you have a child in the room, I'm going to put it down, but you can see what it says. And it's the cutest little pen. And it was nice is that they actually sent you a thank you note when you purchased the, bit, the pen. And it's actually in pen. P-E-N. I thought that was very... Charles, thanks for shopping with Stephen B. So Stephen B, they are a yarn shop in Minnesota. Minnesota. So never been there. Would like to go someday. So I'm totally in the pen game. And I also got a... Z from, uh, was it Zelta Energy in our, sorry, I always get this wrong. Zelda NRJ3 sent me a, a little gift basket. So it came with her pen, which is 1-800-Z touched me, which is the cutest little sheep. And she also sent me a yarn is life little, uh, coaster, coaster. And a little guy to put my yarn in. So you put your yarn cake in there so it doesn't unravel. And it says, nope. And it's the cutest little sheep that is wearing... Couldn't that be a beer? Be a, that could be a, a cozy. No, it couldn't. It could. No, it couldn't. It could be... No, nope. it couldn't. Nope. See? Look at that. Nope. You got all those other gifts from her. Yeah, well, you got the same thing as well. And there was one other pen that I don't remember where it is. I got I the same thing as well? Yeah, you got a pen as well. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, not the cozy, no. But she has another pen that said Yarn is Life that's the same as this, which I don't have in front of me. And the last thing she sent me was this little mini. This little mini that is a uh, kitten's Nomad Sock Mini. It is a SW Merino Nylon 7525. And it is the coolest colorway ever. I'm going to take this off real quick. How come you get to take it off? Because I'm an adult and know how to properly take <laughs> care of yarn. But yeah, it has the coolest colors. It's like every single color is in there. But it's like how okay, the Okay, I goes. am so into this. Yeah. I am in like the magenta. I Well, I know. I do. I, I love those too. And there's greens for you yep. and all that stuff. But yeah. Very fun. Z, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. And she does have them for sale on her own website, which you can oh, go these? to. I'll put this in. Not the minis, but she has her buttons and all that good stuff for sale on her website, which I can put in the show notes. But that was very sweet of her. She didn't have to do that. Speaking of another didn't have to do that, Between Stitches sent me a pattern. She knows I love Stephen West, so she sent me this 
Stephen West sweater pattern. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from there, but Night Nook sweater. It looks a little complicated, but I am excited. I really like this. To try to knit this up. So I have this sweater pattern I have to do from Stephen West, and then Jimmy sent me one for my birthday in December, which is a uh, another pattern, sweater pattern from Stephen West. It's a brioche. So I'm, eventually I need to get around to knitting, but between stitches, Thank you very much for sending me that. That is awesome. I appreciate it greatly. I got a suggestion. You always have suggestions. No, 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 no. So Phyllis Oviat, she should, uh, she, she sells she seashells suggested, by the seashore. Yes. She su suggested <laughs> that uh, because she's watching the, the side hustles uh, so long. Mm -hmm. And so she suggested that I get a wooden ruler. And so that was oh, a what, good suggestion. What's a wooden ruler? So it's a seam press, a seam roller. So that when I've got... Um, is that instead of taking your little... Uh, so I, so tweezers? what I usually do is I'll take my finger and open up the seam so that you don't have so much bulk on one side or the other. Mm -hmm. And first, you just open it up and you just give it a little press and that opens it. And then if you want, you can take a regular iron and do some follow-up, but this, it's like a little... Oh, that's fun. You know what, it's totally mechanical. It is not take any electricity and you burn calories while you're doing it. Can we get you a bigger one then? No. So... <laughs> um, no, the, I, so this one was by Violet Craft and I got it... Um, it's not in the picture. Uh, there's a slight delay. Oh, there we go. So this one is from Violet Craft and I think it was like $6 on Amazon. And the only thing I don't like about this one is that... It's noisy. What are you going to wake up, Seamus? No, I just... It's all about the SMR. The noise. The relaxation. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. You have been in a mood today. I have not been in the mood. I'm just tired. It's... Great, that feels good. All right, so there. Don't do it on this, please, because I worked very that hard on That was on, on my shoulder. Don't even get anything near it. You're going to start twisting it and whoosh, <laughs> doing like gym boy towel. <sighs> anyway, Phyllis, thank you for the suggestion. Very nice of her. I don't think I have anything else. Well, what do you, what do you, you knit purdy someday? I just literally started that this this week. Okay. So this is my, like, this is how far I've got Wednesday. So this is my Knit Pretty Sunday. It's the Outliner Shaw, Outline Shaw, again, but with Hedgehog Fibers. What are you doing? Okay, so I printed off a pattern from AccuQuilt. Mm -hmm. But of course it's on the printer. Okay. So we're going to have to show a picture here. We have a, I'm going to do another sew along, and this one's going to be so simple. The great beginner project. All you're doing is cutting strips, and we're creating that heart. Mm -hmm. And so it is a uh, gift for a coworker who just had a baby, and she was doing some cross-stitching and making little constellations, and I'm like... Oh yeah, you're talking about that. I know the perfect gift I want to make for you. So I've got this fabric. It is Constellations by Lizzie House, uh, Andover Fabrics. We don't have that camera right now. And we have all kinds of uh, colors to choose from. So I have to go to the pattern, and because I don't remember how many colors there are. Um, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So eleven main colors plus 
uh, some white and whatever I want to do for the border. So the white, we've got that. And then I just have to choose 11 of these colors to form the rainbow. And it's perfect because each of these are stars and constellations. I'm super attracted to this one. So I really love this color. It's like a royal green or a royal teal or something. So yeah, so I'm going to do, and it's actually going to finish out. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I'm going to see if there's a way to cut it down because this is ends up being 55 by, yeah, 55 square. And I was just thinking, well, that's a little more than four feet. But I was hoping just to have like a wall hanging. Okay. So like a yard. Like something over a bed or something. Yeah. It's fine. So I'm going to figure that out. Um... Which should not be any problem whatsoever. But I just think when she said that, I was like, I've got the fabric and I'm going to do it. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that will be an upcoming uh, side hustle. That'll be fun. Um, that, <laughs> that I would I would love for people to join in. And you can get the pattern uh, download it for free at accuquilt.com. We'll have that a link to it in the show notes. And I'm hoping to start like get getting going like within a week or two. So nice. Yeah. So we will I will have the, the info on the show notes and even if this is gonna be your first project, it, I swear you can do this. You can do it. You can do it. So that's me so purdy someday. Yeah. Fun. What else? What, what that's, else? Is that's it. That's all I got. I showed you all my projects. I showed you all my what am I making. We have the giveaway from Serial Knitters again, which will be, we'll put more information on Instagram. That's, um, are, am I boring you? <laughs> Just let me know. Almost time for your third nap today. Uh, I've had one. Let's say one and a half. What? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's been lovely having you with us. It has been fun. <laughs> it's been great. No, it's going to be bad. Okay. So, uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. We don't have any kind of sign-off or anything. You're so stupid. <laughs> Whatever.